Hey everyone, welcome back to Drawbridge Finance. My name is Levi Woods, and this is an opinion channel about money. Now, if you're like me, you're excited because it's the new year, it's 2022, and you have got a some sort of account, some sort of tax incentive account, and you wanna figure out how to make the simplest possible investment in it that is going to make a ton of money. Now, there are some strategies that require a lot of work, and I talk about those frequently on this channel. I make a lot of videos on options, and today we're not talking about options at all. I'm gonna talk about really, really simple index fund investing and how we can do it and how we can keep the fees as low as possible. And I just wanna show you one of the results that I have in my account. Look at this account right here, 23.32% last year. And the last time I made a transaction was February 23rd of 2020. Now this is an absolutely no maintenance account. I literally buy an index fund and watch it grow. But today I'm gonna to do something a little more complex. I'm gonna show you a spreadsheet that I built to, to analyze these stocks or ETF, any stock or ETF, to see if I can get a better price by dollar cost averaging. If this is your first time here, remember to click the subscribe button down below. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for watching. If you're a patron, even better. And remember to turn on that notifications bell so that you don't miss anything. Remember, we're doing live streams Tuesdays and you can answer any questions you want in the live stream. And of course, if you wanna join my private live streams, you can check out Patreon for that. Now today, I'm going to be talking about the January uh, digital download that all my patrons get, and I'm gonna show you some of the features of it because I made this little spreadsheet because I was thinking about how I, I wanted to make my contributions work this year. I live in Canada, so I have a TFSA, a tax-free savings account, and I have an annual contribution room of $6,000. Now, I can, I can put that $6,000 in throughout the year if I wish, or I could put it all in at the beginning of the year. Usually, for me, I'm pretty excited about getting that, that money in there because I want that, those funds to grow as much as possible, and I know how to make money long-term in the, in the stock market, and I know how to make it pretty easily. So if I get it in in January, then I can make more money because it can grow over time. But is this necessarily the best thing for me? Is it better to actually dollar cost average? Would it be better if I made a weekly contribution or every two weeks or bi-monthly or monthly? You know, there's a, these different scenarios arise and it's always a question that I have. So I wanted to make a little spreadsheet that would be super simple to use. And I mean dead simple. Two cells. What am I gonna buy? How much am I gonna put in? And this will spit out what my weekly contribution will be, what a bi-weekly contribution would look like. It'll tell me how many shares on average I'd be able to purchase. And it will backtest over the last year. It will show me the, the price that you're, you know what? Why don't I just show you? Let's take a look. When I'm looking at a program like Wealth Simple, you can see that the ticker at the top is XSP. And I know that this is Canadian fund. So I'm gonna put in TSE XSP. And I'm going to hit enter. The chart does pretty much everything else for me. It automates this. So it tells me what the current price is, 5057. We can see that that matches my Wealth Simple account to, to the left. And it also shows me historical values. It shows me what the stock price was last year, one year ago today. So on January 15th of 2021, the stock was trading at $50.53. And on the 22nd of Jan January, it was 41.31. Now, the reason I built this spreadsheet was because what I wanted to do was I wanted to know what the average daily price was. If I had purchased shares every single day over the course of the year, what would be the average price? And you can see that number is right here. This is the daily average price, 46.22. And then what I wanted to do was I wanted to do a little comparison. I wanted to say, well, what happens if I bought every week or if I bought every two weeks or monthly or bi-monthly? Which one would be the better deal? So I, I just wrote all the code here so you guys can see it. You punch in that, the, that one number and it will tell you that the, uh, the green highlight here says that the best price I possibly could have purchased this in the last year would have been last year if I had done a one-time contribution of whatever value it was 
it would have been getting a discount of 14%. Now this 14% is relative to the average price. It's, it's not the return that we're seeing over here, but it's relative to the average because that's really what I'm, I want to get is I want to consistently buy and get the average price. Now, if I was in a situation where I wanted to put in the whole 6,000 over the course of the year into the XSP, I could just fill the 6,000 in here. It shows me what my contribution would have had to be. If I wanted to contribute $6,000 over the course of the year, I would have to put in $500 per month in order to achieve my goal. Now, if I was using this money to purchase shares in XSP and I was doing it on a monthly basis, I would be purchasing 10.8 shares per month. So that's what I would do. I would just set up an automatic payment, I would put in $500, I would log into my Wealth Simple account or whatever brokerage I have, and I would buy my 10 shares. And it's as simple as that. If I had done that last year, my average price would have been 46.24. And then this little chart compares and it shows it color coded whether or not this would have been a good deal. Now, if I had done this monthly, it wouldn't have been that great. It would have actually been cheaper if I had done it bi-weekly or bi-monthly, but only by a couple of pennies. You know, six transactions a year is very similar to 12 transactions a year. And the beautiful thing about this, I can test anything. I can take a look at Apple and it shows me not only the, the values, but it actually shows me the chart over time. And it also shows me the volatility. Now, some stocks are quite volatile and that's something I might want to avoid. Like Apple moved up almost 10% in a single week. And here in uh, December, it actually moved up more than 10% in a, in a single week and then back down the following week. If we look at a product like the SPY, we can see that the volatility over time is very, very low and that the, the growth rate is very, very steady. It's actually quite interesting when you look at something on the uh, Wealth Simple. If I look at the one year chart, uh, it's interesting to compare them because these charts are the same. It's amazing how uh, dramatic it looks when we look at it in the vertical format. Um, either way, we cut it, it went up 24%. So it's an absolutely amazing return. And in the case of a stock like this, it would be absolutely imperative for us to buy early and to buy on a regular interval. Now, if something was a little bit more sporadic, let's look at Arc K, which is a, a tech ETF. Um, we can see that it is actually downtrending over the year. It's quite volatile, so it's got a 15% swings sometimes. Uh, pretty interesting to see that if we had purchased one year ago, we would have actually paid $141.91, and the stock is currently trading at $86.96. This would have been absolutely advantageous for us to buy it either weekly or bi-weekly, but I think that the the, for most people, looking at this zone, this monthly or bi-monthly is going to get us very, very close to the average daily price, which is really the optimal goal. I want to have the average price over time, especially on funds that I think are going to go up over time. Now, some funds are, or some individual stocks have been hit extremely hard. If we look at a stock like Fiverr, it has a, a massive volatility, you know, losing, you know, 30% of uh, its value in a single week and downtrending all year. So this is a great example of a stock that I wouldn't have wanted to buy last year because I would have paid $267 a share and it's currently trading at $97. And now the average price is $199 and I might be totally fine holding that. Buying this daily or weekly gives me this average price of $199, which is surprisingly similar to, as if I had purchased it every two months. So it's amazing how these averages work out over time. Here's a quick tip for you Wealth Simple Trade users. I only buy Canadian stocks with Wealth Simple Trade. The reason I do this is because if I buy American stocks or ETFs, it converts my currency from Canadian to US dollars. And when I sell them, it converts them from US dollars back to Canadian. And the currency fees are killer. I actually invest in the company that owns Wealth Simple Trade because it makes so much money off of the free transactions that they offer. Now, all of the details are down below. You can scroll down and you can see every single day and you can see highlighted in red what the percentage move was on a weekly basis. And these are the numbers that are represented in this chart. Now, if you'll notice the shares purchased row and I've got some of these highlighted in red. And the reason that I have that is because they don't meet the minimum one 
share minimum. If I was trying to do a bi-weekly contribution, I was trying to buy the queues, it wouldn't make much sense. It would make way more sense for me to plan my year and say I'm going to make 12 purchases of $500 at a time because the stock price is so high. I obviously, if I'm only putting in $230, I can't buy a $385 stock. So it helps me plan my, my year a little bit. Now this data is super interesting and it's something that I find absolutely fascinating. Now, how do I actually do this in my personal accounts? Well, I typically do uh, one of two things. If the stock market is down substantially, I might make a larger purchase at the beginning of the year. But if I'm unsure, then I typically make one purchase in January and then I make a second purchase in February and I'll split that so that I get two purchases and I get the average price over those two months. Typically, January and February in the stock market are extremely lucrative months. Let's just take a look at the S&P 500 right now, because this is an easily this is an easy investment for many people. It's 500 shares and it's what I'm holding in that account. And you can see how well it grows. And right now we're trading actually just slightly below these 20 and 50 day moving averages. So it's actually an excellent time to be purchasing the S&P 500, in my opinion. And I'm probably going to be loading up here in the next couple of days to add to my account so that I can add even more in February and get that dollar cost averaging. Now, if you found this video helpful, remember to hit that like button down below, leave a comment, which is even better, share it with your friends so we can all get rich together. Thanks so much for watching and see you very soon.